In this problem, we have a cylinder of 1500 Newton weight, which is resting in a smooth groove as shown in the figure. And we have to find the reactions at the contact points A and B. Since the cylinder is in equilibrium, the conditions of equilibrium will have to be satisfied. The two equilibrium equations are sigma fx equal to 0 and sigma fy equal to 0. These equations tell us that the sum of x and y components of all the forces acting on the cylinder must be 0. So, the first step in solving the problem is to draw a free body diagram. So, here is the free body diagram of the cylinder. In short, we call it FBD, FBD of the cylinder. And the idea in drawing a FBD is to isolate the body of interest, in this case the cylinder, from its surrounding elements and in the process show the forces of interaction between the body and its surrounding elements. And in this case, the two surfaces of the groove. So, which are the forces of interaction between the cylinder and the surfaces? They could be shown like this. These are the two reaction forces and the weight acting at the center of the cylinder which is given as 1500 Newtons. These two are the forces which are acting on the cylinder due to the surfaces and the cylinder also exerts force on the surfaces which can be shown like this. So, this is the force which is exerted by the cylinder onto the surface of the groove and this is the force which the surface exerts on the cylinder. So, we could call this an action and this as reaction and the action reaction they exist in pairs and they obey the Newton's third law and therefore, they are equal in magnitude but oppositely directed. Let us call this reaction force as R B and this reaction force as R A. So, there are only three forces acting on the cylinder. One is the reaction force R A, another is the reaction force R B at point B and the weight 1500 Newton acting at the center of the cylinder. We normally do not show the forces acting on the surrounding elements, but I have drawn it to explain to you that the action and reaction forces exist in pairs and act on different bodies. The direction of these two forces is along the normal to this plane. The action line of this force also is normal to this plane and they would all be passing through the center. So, their line of action goes through point O like this. So, in fact, these three forces are concurrent forces that is they meet at a single point O and therefore, we should show all the forces acting at this point O like this. Suppose, this is x axis the weight is acting downwards the reaction force rb the reaction force could be moved so that its tail coincides with point o this is point o similarly the reaction force ra could be moved along its line of action so that its tail coincides with point O. So, what are the angles these forces make with the axis? This surface 
makes an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal therefore this line would be making an angle of 60 degrees with the vertical so this angle would be 60 degrees and therefore with the horizontal this line of action of rb would be making an angle of 30 degrees so this angle is 30 degrees similarly this surface makes an angle of 45 degrees and this line of action of ra is normal to this plane therefore this angle would be 45 and therefore the force ra makes an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal x axis this is our y axis it is a good practice to show in a separate diagram all the forces acting on the body at the point of concurrency that is the point o the force vectors should be shown with their tails coinciding with the point o this provides more clarity and helps in avoiding mistakes while writing the equilibrium equations now we sum up the x components of all the forces the component of ra along x axis will be ra cos 45 degrees minus rb cos 30 degrees equal to 0. This would mean Ra 1 upon root 2 minus Rb cos 30 is root 3 by 2 equal to 0 or Ra is equal to root 2 upon 1 times root 3 upon 2 Rb and this would simplify to Ra equals root 3 by root 2 times Rb. So this is our first equation which gives relationship between Ra and Rb. Now let us consider sigma Fy equal to 0. Now we sum up the y components of all the forces. So the first term is Ra sine 45 degrees plus Rb sine 30 degrees minus 1500 because that is pointing in negative y direction. So we plug in the values of sine 45 this will be 1 upon root 2 plus Rb sine 30 is half equal to 1500. Now we plug in the value of Ra from equation number 1. So we get root 3 by root 2 Rb one upon root 2 plus rb 1 upon 2 is equal to 1500 so this will simplify to rb upon 2 root 3 plus 1 equal to 1500 and therefore rb would be equal to 1500 times 2 upon root 3 plus 1 and this will work out to 
1098 newtons. Now plug in the value of R B into equation number one and we get R A equals root three times one zero nine eight that's the value of R B upon root two and this will work out to one three four five newtons. So R A is 1345 newtons and RB is 1098 newtons. So this is the answer. And we are done. So that concludes the solution. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.